In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use On One Photo to give a photograph an old fashioned look using overlays. If you would like to follow along and use the same overlays that I use in this tutorial, then make sure that you download them from my website. If you're watching this on my blog post, then just scroll down towards the bottom and you'll see a place where you can enter your information and then you'll get these three free heirloom downloads. If you're watching this on YouTube, go into the description and click on the link and that'll take you to the proper page. Now, if you like the look of these overlays, then you might be also interested in the On 100 Volume 2 Heirloom Collection preset pack in my online store. These presets are made specifically for On One Photo, but if you use Photoshop or Luminar or any other layer-based application, then you can also use any of the 70 overlays that come with this pack inside of those applications as well. So it's not limited to On One Photo if you also use other applications. Now it's also worth noting that these three overlays are in addition to the ones that you would get in the pack. So you're not gonna have any duplicates if you download these overlays along with the one inside of my store. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I have a photo here inside of Browse in On One Photo Raw. What I first want to do is bring those overlays into On One Photo so I can access them from inside of layers and also inside of effects. So to do that, I'm gonna go into File, Manage Extras, I'm gonna click on Textures, and then choose Import. I have these on my desktop, so I'll go ahead and just locate those free overlays, highlight all of them, and select Open. Next, I need to choose where I want these to go inside of. I already have an On 100 Volume 2 pack. This is the preset pack I was just mentioning, but I'm just gonna create a new category and I'm just gonna call this Nicolzi. You can choose any category you want, create your own, however you want to do it, just whatever works for your organized brain. Go ahead and click OK. And now those three overlay files are imported into On One Photo. I'll go ahead and click Close. Now I'm gonna take this image into effects so I can apply some of those overlay files. I'm gonna go ahead and hide that left filter pane because we don't really need it right now. And over on the right, I'm gonna click on Add Filter. All of those presets were imported as textures. So in order to apply them, I need to add a texture filter. In the category, I'm gonna select that category that I just created and that was called Nicolzi. And now if I scroll through these, I can see what they look like as they are applied. I'll choose the old paper overlay, and then I'm gonna play with my mode. And I think I like that normal mode a little bit better, but I'm gonna scroll through to see what the other ones look like. Replace is kind of interesting, but I think I'm gonna go with normal. And I'm just gonna to toggle this on and off to see how that looks. There's a part of me that just kind of likes it the way this is as is. I think it looks pretty cool just with a very simple overlay. But I'm gonna go ahead and add another filter and I'm gonna apply one of those other brand new textures that I just added. So I'll select textures once again. I'll go ahead and choose that category I just created. And I'm just going to keep it with this heirloom dark watercolor. Now the edge is kind of neat as well. I think in this case though, I'm gonna go with uh, the watercolor, the normal watercolor one. Again, I'm gonna play with those modes and see what they look like. Settle's probably gonna be the one I want to go with here, and it is. I may want to drop the opacity, or maybe I even want to invert it to see what it looks like as a little bit of a lighter color. I could also colorize it if I wanted to give it maybe a sepia look. So let me go into like a brown color. It's kind of interesting. I think I'm gonna reduce the amount a little bit just to give it a very subtle sepia look. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop there because I think I have a pretty neat looking file and it really only took a couple of overlays to create this. But before I finish, first I wanna show you some of the other looks you can create using the full On 100 Volume 2 Heirloom Collection Pack. So I'm gonna reveal those presets on the left and these right here are all of the different presets that you will get with that pack. 
The Creative Heirloom set is kind of a bonus pack that gives you a combination of a lot of the presets and the overlays that are included in your purchase. So this is just a quick preview of some of the really interesting looks that you can create using the Nicolzi Heirloom Collection preset pack for On One Photo.